Howdy folks, I'm Sierra the Daring. I am here to bring you another tutorial. I got a request to share the chords for quit playing games with my heart. I got the chords on Ultimate Guitar, but I thought it would be helpful to do a tutorial because this song particularly wasn't right on the tab that I had to change. It took me a long time to figure out the missing chord but I figured it out and I'm here to share that with all of y'all. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm Sierra the Daring. Hit me up with a thumbs up if you find this video to be valuable. Leave me a comment if you have anything to say or if you have any other requests for songs or tutorials. And then please subscribe because it totally helps me to grow and keep bringing y'all this beautiful awkward music. <laughs> so I think I want to go over the chords first and th this song is super simple except for the missing chord which took me forever to find. That one's, it's one of my personal more challenging chords. So in this song we have an A and a D, a G and a B minor. and then the F sharp. See, it's a, hard, it's a hard chord for me to play. If you can't hear the struggle that's happening. Okay, so next I wanna go over the strumming pattern I use to this song. And for this song, I only use up strokes, up strums, strum ups. And I do a lot of um, percussion playing, percussion slaps. I'm just making up words here. This is the strumming pattern that I use for this song. I'll show you in the intro and then I'll talk about it a little bit. So that's the main strumming pattern I use in this song, and it's basically, so it's upstroke, tap, upstroke, tap, tap, and then you change the chord to a D. Upstroke, tap, up, slap, slap, up, slap, up, slap, slap, up, slap, up, slap, slap, up, and then I drop the slap, up, It's still very similar to the rhythm that I was playing, I believe, uh, but I just dropped the slap. So that's the intro. And then uh, the chords shift a little bit into the verse, and it goes a little something like this. Even in my heart, I feel you're not being true to Within my soul, I feel nothing's like it used to be. Sometimes I wish I could turn back time. Impossible as it may seem, but I wish I could. So bad. And now we're off to the chorus. Quit playing games with my heart, with my heart, my heart. I should have known from the start, with my heart, my heart. I live my life. Okay, I don't have to play all of that because it is the same as what we just went through. Uh, so the structure of the verse and the chorus basically repeats again. 
And then this is the part that I couldn't figure out for years. That I couldn't figure out and I couldn't figure out and I couldn't figure out. Okay, I'm just gonna start from the last line of the chorus and then we'll go into the bridge. I should have known from the start with my heart. Don't leave me hanging in forever Oh baby, baby This is not right Let's stop this tonight Na 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 Anyways, I'm gonna stop because the rest of the song is basically just that. The same structure as the chorus, A, B minor, G, and you can kinda like sauce it out if you want to, or you can keep it short if you want to. Um, I like to sauce it out, so I like to do the na-na-na's for a while, and then sometimes I wish I could, back to the chorus. Um, I'm not gonna play the whole song here. I've already done a cover of it and I will link that in the description below and maybe up on one of these corners if I can figure out how to technology correctly. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. We covered the strumming pattern, the, we covered the chords, the strumming pattern, and then we played through most of the song, nice and slow and easy. I would recommend that you go check out that other video and then you video and then you can just follow along and pick up all the little, cause I do change my, this is the basic structure but I changed that up little places here in time for a fact. Uh, the other thing, I wanted to talk about Ultimate Guitar real quick. I get most of my chords from Ultimate Guitar. There's a couple features I really like about it that I just wanted to draw attention to. In the upper right hand corner, there's a couple really helpful features. One is the little pencil button. If you go to the pencil, then you can scroll through the song and you can edit things. If the words are wrong, if the chords are wrong, like they were in this song, you can go back and you can make adjustments here and there so that it's to your liking. The other thing I wanted to bring some attention to was the fantastic transpose function. I got some advice from this show, The Launch, and she was she was basically just talking about how important it is to get the song in the best key for you. Um, you want it really hitting all the right places of your voice where you are stretching a little bit at the top, but it's not too low, not too high. Goldilocks just right. So the transpose function is really fantastic. Both are in the right hand corner of Ultimate Guitar. The other thing that I have run into is sometimes Ultimate Guitar, when I do make adjustments, it will put the chords back into guitar and I will play guitar. So in the upper left hand corner, right below the title and all of that, you can click on right under where it says chords. There's a little tab. And for me right now it says ukulele because I play ukulele, so I have it on ukulele. But you can scroll through and you can find guitar, ukulele, or piano. You can adjust it to whatever you are actually playing in the moment. If you're playing guitar, you can put in a guitar. If you're playing in ukulele, you can put in a ukulele. If you're playing in piano, you can put in piano. If you're playing clarinet, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know anything about clarinet. So, I think that's all I have for now for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any other requests for songs or tutorials and feel free to Feel free, feel free to subscribe because it totally supports me and helps me to grow. I appreciate you all so much. Thanks for watching. Mwah. <laughs> all right. How do you start? Hey, internet friends. Am I crooked? I don't know. Who cares? Be crooked. Talking to a camera is not the easiest thing. I need to learn how to work this camera. Three minutes already? Cool, and I've done nothing. I wasn't, I didn't, the, hmm. The awkward content's beautiful. Awkward tutorials, beautiful music.
that should be the name of my other channel. Aqua Tutorials, beautiful music. I <laughs> crack myself up. I can do the struggle. I'm learning how to talk about how I do this, so. <laughs> Talking to a camera is weird. Can I just change it? 